What's up, y'all? Take a ride with me. I'm going to probably title this. Andrew Tate just proved that you can't be canceled. Orlando, what do you mean by that? You can't be canceled because we have canceled culture. If you don't say anything somebody like, they can completely shut you down, take away your money and all that type of stuff. Correct? Wrong. That was the thought we had without being educated. I've always been hip to it. I always understood how social media work, how the algorithm work. So we're going to use Andrew Tate as an example, right? So when the media and the powers that be decided to cancel Andrew Tate, took away his Instagram, took away his YouTube, took away basically all his platforms, quote unquote, took away his voice to shut him up because they don't like it his narrative, they don't like his thought process, his mind frame, right? When that happened, you have two things that can happen, right? Let's say you got a hundred content creators, hundred YouTubers with platform TV shows and stuff like that. The first thing is most people is gonna stay far away from him because that affects their money. If you talk about them, which I did on my channel numerous amount of times, and my algorithm did stuff it never did before. They pulled videos for no reason. He's never seen anything like it before, right? So most people are gonna stay away from it because they don't wanna have that controversy type of stuff on their channel to mess up their money, right? So let's say 70% of those 100 people thought that way. We're about to avoid it. You have probably about 10 people that's gonna say, yo, this is wrong. And if they do it to him, they can do it to me. I don't like it. Sorry for the bumps. I'm on the dirt road. I don't like it. I'm about to give him a platform to speak his mind and to defend himself. Those 10 people do that. When they do that, the world love the bad guy. We love radicals. We love people that go against the norm because it's either you love them or you love to hate them. It's one of the two. So now you go against the grain. You're like, man, hey, I believe he should have his own. He should have a voice to explain himself. I don't care what the analytics. I don't care what they're going to do. So you give him a platform and your channel completely go through the roof. You get a million views. You're like, damn, I only been getting 10,000 views. I went against the norm. Boom, I get a million. Other people seeing that out of that 70, you had 10. That was about that life. People start interviewing him as people see that. The little scared people, the little B-I-T-C-H's, they're like, oh man, I guess I probably should have interviewed him too. I'm saying all this to say, is Andrew Tate canceled now? Because since he's been canceled, I probably seen him on 10 different interviews, all over a million views. You take those interviews, you clip them up, you still go viral. And at that point, he know his value. If I go on your channel and I make you 5 million views and I know you are making, we'll say, 50,000 per million views, including sponsorships and all that type of stuff, right? So how much you just made? 250,000. So is it far-fetched for me to ask, yo, I will come do this interview, but it's going to cost you $100,000. You do 10 of those, he got a million dollars. So is he canceled? No. Look at Joe Rogan. When all that stuff came out with him, the N-word compilation or whatever you want to call it, most people thought he was canceled. Spotify offered him like a zillion dollars. So no matter what type of thoughts you have, you can be a crazy far left Trump supporter. People are going to rock with you. You can be a diehard Biden supporter. People are going to rock with you. You're going to be a V word, anti V word, and people are going to rock with you. People are going to hate you. You can be pro V word. It don't matter. So in the world we live in now, people can't get canceled. You can't. So be true to yourself. Speak what you want to speak. You got a platform. You got a voice. Everybody is raised different. I was raised in Inkster, Michigan in the hood. My experience is different than the people that YouTube, that read it or whatever it is. Andrew Tate experience is different than people's. So you can't be like, oh, just because you have your perspective, I'm just going to ask you out. Screw that. 
So I'm Lando Sess. Hit that subscribe button. Just want to give a quick take while I'm driving up to this new spot real quick. Hasta luego y adios.